We're back with Fastest Truck Series in Forza Horizon 5. This is episode 2. If you guys didn't miss the last episode, go check it out. It will be linked below in the description. Here's the ladder for the Fastest Truck Series. We already did a one race, which was the Diberti Silverado and the Diberti uh, Tacoma, which was this one. And the Diberti Tacoma is the one that won. This one now has to go up against the Diberti Pre-Runner and see if it is going to be faster than that truck in a standing quarter mile. So this Diberti Tacoma does have the 1,379 horsepower that it had in the last video because I fully upgraded it over there. So I'm not going to bother showing you the upgrades again just because it's the same thing as the last episode and I'm not a cheater and I'm not going to change anything just because... I'm not like that. As always with these, you know, trucks and fastest truck series and all these other things that I do, I do want to reset the default upgrades and show you what I'm doing to the truck just to let you know that I am not cheating and I'm not giving a truck, you know, lesser horsepower, throwing one with all-wheel drive or anything like that. The Tacoma, if you guys want to see the upgrade on that, go check out the last video because that's where I upgraded that one. In today's episode, we're upgrading the Diberti Pre-Runner. So, stock engine on all the trucks and stock drivetrain. This one is running rear-wheel drive, so we're going to leave it in rear-wheel drive. Coming over to tires, this thing does not have tire upgrades, so the only thing we can do is a tire size upgrade in the rear. So, we're doing 365s back there. We do need a race transmission, race clutch as well. So, let's do a race transmission here. We already got the clutch. Let's do a race drive shaft and a race differential, please. On top of that, we do need brakes just because it saves a little bit of weight. We really don't use the brakes, but it does save us some weight. So we're going to do that and let's do a full weight reduction. Coming over to engine upgrades. Oh, wow. There's really not a lot to upgrade with the engine for this truck. Um, just a couple upgrades and that's it. So we're going to be putting out 944 horsepower. 6,000 pounds, dude. I don't know, man. It's going to be a good race. Well, maybe it'll be a good race. I really don't know. I honestly think that Tacoma's just going to take it just because it has 1300 horsepower and it weighs a little bit less. But this thing actually might have better grip since it does weigh a lot and it does have a little bit less horsepower. So it'll get off the line quicker. But I don't know if that Tacoma is, is you know, eventually going to catch up to the uh, Diberti Pre-Runner. Here we are at the standing drag quarter mile that I have made in the game with our Diberti Pre-Runner. 944 horsepower, 6,000 pounds of weight. We're going to start this race, see if this Diberti Pre-Runner can run it in a timely fashion let's see first second catches grip in third going to fourth gear 80 miles an hour fifth gear gears are pretty short and it looks like it's just holding well like going straight for the finish line it's really not the fastest thing that it's feeling 12.3 though that's actually pretty respectable 6,000 pounds this, this truck weighs 944 horsepower let's pull out the Diberti Tacoma see if we can beat it in that thing standing drag quarter mile in our Diberti Tacoma see what this thing can do in its you know fully upgraded state 1379 horsepower about 3,000 pounds I believe it's gonna have a lot of wheel spin I mean I will try my best to keep it straight oh wow that is a lot it catches grip in six gear once it catches grip dude it's just gone basically dude it's it's insane how fast this thing is 11.5 that's wow I mean, it's a little bit slower than the last video when it was going up against the Silverado. It did have an 11.4 then, but it did have an 11.5 now. So I still beat out the pre-runner, but the time is a little bit off. And one thing that I do want you guys to know is that it's one try, okay? You only have one try in this race, okay? It's one pass and that's it, right? If you mess up, if you like you know completely drift the truck out or the truck slides out the truck slides out and you can't save it and you basically lose that's it right that that truck's gone the other truck's going to be the one that wins and moves on to the next round but that didn't happen today we were able to keep this thing steady able to keep it straight for the most part it did slide out a little bit but it was fine we were able to keep it straight and it crossed the line at 11.5 so this one's going to be moving on to the next round in the fastest truck series if you guys do enjoy these videos let me know in the comments and smack the like button subscribe if you're new as well and share with your friends get them to watch this and see what they think is going to be crowned the fastest truck in this game like i said all of these trucks are stock engine fully upgraded and they're running the exact same quarter mile
Anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to wrap off today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Smack the like button, like I said. Subscribe if you're new. All that jazz. And, uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments what you guys think your predictions are for the fastest truck. Which one is going to be crowned the fastest truck, in your opinion? Let me know in the comments. I'll be responding to them, and I'll be checking all those out. And, yeah, <laughs> that's going to wrap it off. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have an outstanding day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.